This is the Topo Athletic Zephyr running shoe. And this shoe has some fantastic features, but just a couple features that are negative, which make this one of the worst running shoes I've had in quite a while. Stay tuned. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. Today we are doing the in-depth review of the Zephyr by Topo Athletic. Check it out. We we'll go into some specifications of the shoe, and then we we'll go into the ride feel and quality, and what this shoe can be used for. So, specifications first. This shoe in size nine is nine ounces. I'll provide grams down here in the in the in the bottom of the screen. This shoe has a five millimeter drop, so it's five millimeter drop from heel to toe or offset. Has 28 millimeters of cushion in the back, 23 millimeters of cushion in the front. So it is a fairly cushioned shoe as far as stack height is concerned. It has, looking to the outsole, it has uh, rubber in the outsole and strategic areas. Makes it, it has a, more rubber than some other shoes would have, so it actually makes it fairly durable as far as uh, not wearing down the non-protected areas of the shoe, the outsole. Uh, the outsole, also want to point out this plate. It has a plastic plate in here, so it's not a carbon plate shoe, it's a plastic plate shoe, which provides some stability and rigidity to the shoe, and also rebound as you're taking off, going from midfoot to toe off, it actually provides some rebound there, or it's supposed to. Midsole is a nice, uh, responsive foam is not a cushy foam so whatever you read about cushy foam shoes if they talk about this shoe they're lying this has a very responsive foam to it so if you don't like a lot of plushness this is fine and it is not rockered as you can tell it is not a rockered uh, sole it is very flat along the midfoot and then has a swooping uh, up area here that uh, helps enable the toe off so it's supposed to help with the uh, you transition from the midfoot to the forefoot if you're a midfoot striker. The uh, outsole of the, the, I'm sorry, the upper of the shoe is a nice breathable mesh upper, engineered mesh upper, which is very breathable, very nice, with some nice little overlays uh, placed to add some structure to the upper of the shoe. And the lacing system is a fairly uh, standard lacing system. Uh, it does offer two loop areas on the tongue for keeping the tongue in place. And the tongue itself is a very fairly thin tongue. It's got some good structure to it. Uh, so when you bind down a shoe, when you tighten the shoe, it does actually doesn't cause any pain to your foot, but it's not a fluffy tongue. So it's not, it doesn't have a lot of cushion to it, but it's also not very thin, uh, paperly thin. So it's a very good tongue actually. So that's gonna take care of the specifications and the description of this shoe. So now we're gonna get into the ride quality of this shoe. Okay, the ride quality of the shoe. It is a very stiff shoe, as I mentioned before. It doesn't have a lot of flexibility due to this uh, plate in the shoe that's supposed to provide responsiveness and help aid in the toe off of the shoe. Uh, I think it's kind of they're trying to mimic what the Nike Vaporfly series is trying to do and some several other shoes like the Carbon X with have the plate, but on a, on a different price point. So uh, this plate adds a lot of rigidity to the shoe. Uh, but it's not rockered, like Hoka's can be ro rockered. Uh, the foam is not really, really, really plush and responsive like the Nike uh, Vaporflies. So as a result, you get a very uh, harsh ride with this shoe, in my opinion. Basically, if you're a heel striker or running or a slower runner, uh, you will sound like you're a horse running down the road. And I'll even try to get some video of that here as well. But you can hear if you, the slapping of the, your foot against the pavement when you're running, and it feels very stiff. Um, I've done several hundred, a uh, couple hundred miles of running in this shoe, and I have not gotten the shoe to break in. Several reviews have talked about the uh, shoe breaking in that requires a break-in period. I've never found the, the shoe broken in yet. Uh, it's very nice to walk in. Uh, it's also not bad if you are a faster runner, but for easy runs where I want to be at 8, 8.30 pace, 9 minute mile pace even, 
Uh, I was annoying the people I was running with because I was clopping around. I just found like cloppity, 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 clop. I felt like, felt like I was a horse. I sounded like a horse and they did not feel very comfortable at all running in these shoes. So that is my ride run experience with these shoes. Uh, the durability, they're very durable. Like I mentioned before, with this uh, rubber on the outsole, they um, provides durability and protection. And the plate also provides protection from the road, so you're not feeling every stone and nook and cranny in the road. Uh, I did like the upper. The upper is very breathable, very nice, very light, which adds, adds to the lightness of the shoe since it's only a nine ounce shoe. But uh, the ride quality was just killing me. And um, yeah, it has this zip foam core that they're supposed to say was really plush and comfortable. Not so. Uh, this, this cushion, I would say this is more like a Nike React type of foam and not like the foam that's used in the Vaporfly. So uh, that's kind of my thoughts and opinions on, and opinion on these. Uh, yeah, they felt terrible. Oh, the other positive I do want to point out, the other positive is typical for Topo Athletic shoes. It has a nice wide toe box, so I had no issues with my toes uh, rubbing against the sides of the shoe. Plenty of room for my toes to splay out, which felt very good. And it was the reason why I bought these shoes. Also the low drop was nice, five millimeter drop was nice to have. But uh, again, I could not get these shoes to ride well and it felt very clunky all the time, every time, even after a couple hundred miles of running in these shoes. Anyway, that's my review on these shoes. I, like I said, I've left the link down in the description below. Uh, let me know if you have run in Topo Athletic running shoes. Let me know your opinions on these shoes. Leave comments down below. Give a big thumbs up on the video and just get more good content from this channel. Please, uh, please subscribe if you haven't subscribed. And until next time, peace.